Hello everyone, Kamats here. In this video I'm going to show you the audio hat by Andrew over at Back Office Show. This device is just like the digital to analog converter that I showed you in a previous video. The difference here is that it's in a much better form factor as you can see, and it's designed to connect directly to the top of the Odroid Go. So we'll just take a closer look at it. You can see here Dr. A's curiously cute audio hat. Those two wires that are soldered on, uh, those are just for me for testing. Uh, it doesn't come that way. I was just doing some electrical tests on it, so just ignore those. So let's connect it up to the Odroid Go. All you do is just plug it right into the top, like that. And you can see that it fits really nicely. Uh, it's definitely a purpose-built device. It's designed just to fit on the Odroid Go. And you have your earphone output right there. So if we turn on our Go, you can see that we're on the uh, main menu. To switch to using the DAC, it's just like I showed you in my previous video. You just hold down the volume button and hit the right D-pad. And you can see that the icon changed to like a waveform. Uh, square wave and that indicates that the software is now in external DAC mode So when you start a game up, it's going to direct the audio out to the external DAC instead of the internal speaker Let me just show you that working As you can tell there is no audio coming out of it through the speaker I can push the volume key nothing happens uh, because all the audio is actually going to the external DAC or digital analog converter that is on the hat. So just to show you that's working as expected. There you go. And the volume control works as normal. You can mute have the first level, which you can probably barely hear. Second level, third level, and the highest level. Now this is an amplified speaker. Uh, if you hook it up to just a standard pair of headphones, I think the uh, volume levels are actually very good. If you get one of these, you can actually hook them up to headphones or obviously an amplified speaker or a stereo system, whatever you want. It's just a little bit more than a line out. There isn't actually a headphone amplifier on this board. It's just the digital to analog converter. So the volume might vary a little bit depending on the model of headphones that you hook up to it or whatever device you end up hooking up. But I have hooked it up to a line in on a computer and even at full volume, uh, it doesn't uh, clip on the input for the line in on the computer. So just something to consider. If you're interested in one of these, I will link down in the description where to get one. If you do like using uh, headphones to play games, I would recommend getting one of these. Uh, it, it definitely makes it very enjoyable to play the Go, uh, to be able to hear the audio uh, very clean and clear through a set of headphones. Uh, even though the internal speaker is pretty good, it is nice to put on a pair of headphones, not bother people around you, and still be able to hear your game. Uh, for games that are stereo enabled, this is actually a stereo output. So um, if you're familiar, Tetris uh, from the original Game Boy actually had stereo output, and this sounds exactly the same as the original Game Boy. I had one back in the day and played the hell out of Tetris. So it was definitely one of the games that I tested first when the digital analog converter code was added by Crash Override to the firmware. Uh, this hat would definitely not be possible without that uh, addition. So thank you to Crash Override for his hard work in getting the digital to analog converter output working for all of the games. And also to Andrew over at Back Office Show for hand soldering these hats and selling them to his viewers, which includes me. Well, I was gonna show you another emulator that had DAC support. 
Uh, that's not part of the GoPlay package, but it looks like the DAC support still having issues with that emulator. So I'll, I'll report that to the developer and hopefully they can get that fixed. I also have some more videos coming up really soon. Uh, the guys over at Ameridroid actually sent me some things to play with and make some videos about. They're not sponsored videos, it's just some parts to have fun with uh, and show you guys some cool technology. And that's what my channel is all about. So if you'd like to see those videos when I release them, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and that's all for now.